Which diet is best for you? A comparison of 8 popular diets. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where I share with you the latest research and tips on health and nutrition. Today, I'm going to talk about some of the most popular diets that people follow for various reasons, such as weight loss, health improvement, or ethical choices. I'm going to explain what each diet is, how it works, what are its benefits and risks, and whether it is recommended by health professionals. Let's get started. Intermittent fasting, this involves cycling between periods of eating and fasting. Common methods include the 16 eighths method, fasting for 16 hours and eating within an 8 hour window, or the 5 to 2 method, eating normally for 5 days and consuming very few calories on 2 non-consecutive days. How does it work? The idea behind intermittent fasting is that by restricting your calorie intake on certain days or hours, you can create a calorie deficit that leads to weight loss, without having to restrict your food choices on the other days. What are the benefits? According to a 2018 review of studies, intermittent fasting can be an effective way to lose weight and improve metabolic health. The review found that intermittent fasting can reduce body weight by 3 to 8% over 3 to 24 weeks, and also lower blood pressure, blood sugar, insulin levels, and inflammation markers. What are the risks? Intermittent fasting can also have some side effects, such as hunger, irritability, fatigue, headaches, and difficulty concentrating. It may not be suitable for everyone, especially people with diabetes, low blood pressure, eating disorders, or pregnant or breastfeeding women. It may also interfere with your social life or your exercise routine. Is it recommended? Intermittent fasting is not a one-size-fits-all approach. It may work for some people, but not for others. It depends on your personal preferences, goals, and lifestyle. If you want to try intermittent fasting, you should consult your doctor first and start gradually. You should also make sure to eat a balanced and nutritious diet on your non-fasting days. Keto, ketogenic, diet. This is a low-carb, high-fat diet that aims to put your body into a state of ketosis, where it burns fat for energy instead of carbs. How does it work? The keto diet requires you to drastically reduce your carbohydrate intake to less than 50 grams per day, or about 10% of your total calories, and increase your fat intake to about 70-80% to of your calories. This forces your body to switch from using glucose as its main fuel source to using ketones, which are produced from the breakdown of fat. What are the benefits? The keto diet can help you lose weight quickly and suppress your appetite. It can also improve your blood sugar levels, cholesterol levels, blood pressure, and insulin sensitivity. Some studies have also suggested that the keto diet may have some benefits for certain neurological conditions, such as epilepsy, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease. What are the risks? The keto diet can also have some negative effects, such as keto flu, a set of symptoms that include nausea, headache, fatigue, and constipation, bad breath, due to the production of acetone, nutrient deficiencies, due to the restriction of fruits, vegetables, grains, and dairy, kidney stones, due to the increased excretion of calcium, liver problems, due to the increased fat metabolism, and increased risk of heart disease, due to the high intake of saturated fat and cholesterol. Is it recommended? The keto diet is not a long-term solution for weight loss or health improvement. It is a very restrictive and extreme diet that can be hard to follow and maintain. It may also not be safe or effective for everyone, especially people with kidney disease, liver disease, pancreatitis, or type 1 diabetes. If you want to try the keto diet, you should consult your doctor first and monitor your blood tests regularly. You should also take supplements to prevent nutrient deficiencies and drink plenty of water to prevent dehydration. Paleo diet. This diet focuses on whole foods, lean proteins, vegetables, fruits, nuts, and seeds, while avoiding processed foods, grains, and dairy. How does it work? The paleo diet is based on the idea that humans should eat like their hunter-gatherer ancestors, who lived before the advent of agriculture and civilization. The paleo diet claims that modern foods, such as grains, dairy, legumes, and refined sugars, are not compatible with our genes and cause various health problems. What are the benefits? The paleo diet can help you lose weight and improve your blood sugar levels, cholesterol levels, blood pressure, and inflammation markers. It can also increase your intake of protein, fiber, antioxidants, and healthy fats. Some studies have also suggested that the paleo diet may have some benefits for autoimmune diseases, such as rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, and inflammatory bowel disease. What are the risks? The paleo diet can also have some drawbacks, such as difficulty in following, due to the elimination of many common foods, 
social isolation, due to the lack of compatibility with other diets, nutrient deficiencies, due to the exclusion of dairy, grains, and legumes, increased risk of kidney stones, due to the high intake of animal protein, and increased risk of colon cancer, due to the low intake of whole grains and fiber. Is it recommended? The paleo diet is not a scientifically proven or universally accepted diet. It is based on a hypothetical and idealized version of human history that may not reflect the actual diversity and complexity of human diets. It may also not be suitable or sustainable for everyone, especially people with kidney disease, osteoporosis, or vegan or vegetarian preferences. If you want to try the paleo diet, you should consult your doctor first and take supplements to prevent nutrient deficiencies. Mediterranean diet. This diet emphasizes whole grains, lean proteins, healthy fats, like olive oil, fruits, vegetables, and moderate wine consumption. How does it work? The Mediterranean diet is inspired by the traditional eating patterns of people living in countries bordering the Mediterranean Sea, such as Greece, Italy, Spain, and Morocco. The Mediterranean diet is not a strict or rigid diet plan, but rather a general guideline that encourages variety and balance in food choices. What are the benefits? The Mediterranean diet has been extensively studied and shown to have many health benefits. It can help you lose weight and prevent obesity. It can also lower your risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease. It can also improve your mood and cognitive function. What are the risks? The Mediterranean diet has few risks or side effects. However, some people may need to limit their alcohol intake or avoid it altogether due to medical conditions or personal reasons. Some people may also need to adjust their calorie intake or portion sizes depending on their activity level and weight goals. Is it recommended? The Mediterranean diet is widely recognized and recommended by health professionals as one of the best diets for overall health and well-being. It is easy to follow and adaptable to different cultures and preferences. It is also enjoyable and satisfying due to its emphasis on flavor and quality over quantity. Low-carb diet. Reducing carbohydrate intake can lead to weight loss by reducing insulin levels and encouraging the body to burn stored fat. How does it work? A low-carb diet limits the amount of carbohydrates you eat from foods such as bread, pasta, rice, potatoes, cereal, and fruit. A low-carb diet can vary in the degree of carbohydrate restriction, from very low, less than 20 grams per day, to moderate, 50-150 grams per day. A low-carb diet usually increases the intake of protein and fat from foods such as meat, eggs, cheese, nuts, and oils. What are the benefits? A low-carb diet can help you lose weight faster and more effectively than a low-fat diet. It can also improve your blood sugar levels, cholesterol levels, blood pressure, and insulin sensitivity. Some studies have also suggested that a low-carb diet may have some benefits for certain conditions, such as epilepsy, polycystic ovary syndrome, and type 2 diabetes. What are the risks? A low-carb diet can also have some negative effects, such as keto flu, similar to the keto diet, bad breath, due to the production of acetone, nutrient deficiencies, due to the restriction of fruits, vegetables, grains, and dairy, constipation, due to the low intake of fiber, kidney problems, due to the high intake of protein and uric acid, and increased risk of heart disease, due to the high intake of saturated fat and cholesterol. Is it recommended? A low-carb diet is not a one-size-fits-all approach. It may work for some people, but not for others. It depends on your personal preferences, goals, and health status. If you want to try a low-carb diet, you should consult your doctor first and monitor your blood tests regularly. You should also take supplements to prevent nutrient deficiencies and drink plenty of water to prevent dehydration. Plant-based diet. This diet focuses on whole plant foods, such as vegetables, fruits, grains, nuts, and seeds, while minimizing or eliminating animal products. How does it work? A plant-based diet is based on the idea that eating more plants and less animals can benefit your health and the environment. A plant-based diet can range from vegan, no animal products at all, to vegetarian, no meat but some animal products, to flexitarian, mostly plants but some animal products occasionally. What are the benefits? A plant-based diet can help you lose weight and prevent obesity. It can also lower your risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, cancer, and other chronic diseases. It can also improve your blood sugar levels, cholesterol levels, blood pressure, and inflammation markers. It can also provide you with antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and fiber that can boost your immune system and digestion. 
Some studies have also suggested that a plant-based diet may have some benefits for mental health, such as reducing depression and anxiety. What are the risks? A plant-based diet can also have some challenges, such as difficulty in meeting your protein, iron, calcium, vitamin B12, and omega-3 fatty acid needs. You may need to take supplements or eat fortified foods to prevent nutrient deficiencies. You may also face social pressure or stigma from family or friends who do not share your dietary choices. Is it recommended? A plant-based diet is widely recognized and recommended by health professionals as one of the best diets for overall health and well-being. It is easy to follow and adaptable to different cultures and preferences. It is also beneficial for the environment as it reduces greenhouse gas emissions, water consumption, land use, and animal suffering. DASH Diet Designed to prevent and lower high blood pressure, the DASH diet emphasizes fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. How does it work? The DASH diet stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. It is a diet plan that was developed by the National Institutes of Health to help lower blood pressure and prevent cardiovascular disease. The DASH diet recommends eating a certain amount of servings from different food groups, such as grains, vegetables, fruits, dairy, meat, nuts, and fats. The DASH diet also limits the intake of sodium, sugar, and alcohol. What are the benefits? The DASH diet can help you lower your blood pressure and cholesterol levels and reduce your risk of heart attack, stroke, kidney disease, and diabetes. It can also help you lose weight and improve your overall health and well-being. What are the risks? The DASH diet has few risks or side effects. However, some people may need to adjust their calorie intake or portion sizes depending on their activity level and weight goals. Some people may also experience some temporary symptoms, such as headache, dizziness, or fatigue, as their body adapts to the lower sodium intake. Is it recommended? The DASH diet is widely recognized and recommended by health professionals as one of the best diets for preventing and treating high blood pressure and cardiovascular disease. It is easy to follow and adaptable to different cultures and preferences. It is also based on solid scientific evidence and proven results. Vegan Diet A vegan diet excludes all animal products, including meat, dairy, and eggs, and relies entirely on plant-based foods. How does it work? A vegan diet is based on the idea that avoiding animal products can benefit your health and the environment. A vegan diet can vary in the degree of strictness, from ethical veganism, no animal products at all, to dietary veganism, no animal products in food, to plant-based veganism, mostly plants but some animal products occasionally. What are the benefits? A vegan diet can help you lose weight and prevent obesity. It can also lower your risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, cancer, and other chronic diseases. It can also improve your blood sugar levels, cholesterol levels, blood pressure, and inflammation markers. It can also provide you with antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and fiber that can boost your immune system and digestion. Some studies have also suggested that a vegan diet may have some benefits for mental health, such as reducing depression and anxiety. What are the risks? A vegan diet can also have some challenges, such as difficulty in meeting your protein, iron, calcium, vitamin B12, and omega-3 fatty acid needs. You may need to take supplements or eat fortified foods to prevent nutrient deficiencies. You may also face social pressure or stigma from family or friends who do not share your dietary choices. Is it recommended? A vegan diet is widely recognized and recommended by health professionals as one of the best diets for overall health and well-being. It is easy to follow and adaptable to different cultures and preferences. It is also beneficial for the environment as it reduces greenhouse gas emissions, water consumption, land use, and animal suffering. Atkins Diet Similar to keto, this diet restricts carbohydrates and emphasizes protein and fat consumption. How does it work? The Atkins Diet is a low-carb diet that was developed by Dr. Robert Atkins in the 1970s. It consists of four phases, induction, balancing, fine-tuning, and maintenance. In the induction phase, you limit your carb intake to 20 grams per day, or about 5% of your total calories, and eat mostly protein and fat from foods such as meat, eggs, cheese, butter, and oils. In the balancing phase, you gradually increase your carb intake by 5 grams per week until you find your optimal level for weight loss. In the fine-tuning phase, you adjust your carb intake according to your weight loss progress. In the maintenance phase, you keep your carb intake at a level that allows you to maintain your weight. What are the benefits? 
The Atkins diet can help you lose weight quickly and suppress your appetite. It can also improve your blood sugar levels, cholesterol levels, blood pressure, and insulin sensitivity. Some studies have also suggested that the Atkins diet may have some benefits for certain conditions, such as epilepsy, polycystic ovary syndrome, and type 2 diabetes. What are the risks? The Atkins diet can also have some negative effects, such as keto flu, similar to the keto diet, bad breath, due to the production of acetone, nutrient deficiencies, due to the restriction of fruits, vegetables, grains, and dairy, constipation, due to the low intake of fiber, kidney problems, due to the high intake of protein and uric acid, an increased risk of heart disease, due to the high intake of saturated fat and cholesterol. Is it recommended? The Atkins diet is not a long-term solution for weight loss or health improvement. It is a very restrictive and extreme diet that can be hard to follow and maintain. It may also not be safe or effective for everyone, especially people with kidney disease, liver disease, pancreatitis, or type 1 diabetes. If you want to try the Atkins diet, you should consult your doctor first and monitor your blood tests regularly. You should also take supplements to prevent nutrient deficiencies and drink plenty of water to prevent dehydration. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about different types of diets. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.